Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the preferred series or even we can call it as a selection of the preferred series. This we are going to see. So in engineering design many times the designer has to specify the size of the product and the size of the product is it is a general term and which includes different parameters. Uh, like the power transporting capacity or it may be the load carrying capacity speed or dimension of the component such as it may be height length and the weight so such things we have to specify the preferred numbers are used to specify generally the size of the product in this case and this preferred series is derived by the charles reynard Charles Reynard born in Dumblin Vegas who is who was a French military engineer that is in 19th century so he derived the different series the system is based on the use of geometry progression to develop a set of numbers and there are total five series which he derived and french balloonist charles renard which we had already said there are five series which are denoted by the r5 this is one series r10 r20 r40 and r80 these are the five series so which increases the incremental state so that is 58%, 26% or 12%, 6% and 3% means if I consider the R5 series, so first to the next it is increased by 58%. If I consider the second series in that case, first number to the next number which we select that increases by the 26% and so on. So these are the five different series the Charles Reynard E derived. Each series has its own series factor, so that we will see. So the first, that is the R5, we can call, and the series factor how they calculated, they took square root of the 10 as it is R5, so fifth root of the 10. So here we will get 1.5 as a series factor for this R5 series. Similarly, for the second, for the R10, 10th root of the 10. So we will get the 1.26. This is the series factor for this R10 series. And similarly, if you go on calculating this, we will get for R20, we will get 1.12, and for R40, we will get 1.06, and for R80, we will get 1.03. See, these are the different five series factor for this five different series. The series is established by taking the first number and multiplying by the second number. So how the series is developed uh, that we are going to see here. So the first number and that multiplying factor. If we take the series that is the R5, for that the multiplying factor is what it is uh, 1.5. So for the R5, just now we derived 1.58 as a multiplying factor. Means uh, if I take the first element 1, then second that is 1.58 what are the value will get the second number and then again if you want multiplying the 1.58 factor then you will get the next number so uh, in this way you will get the continuous number then the second number again we multiplied by the uh, th uh, this factor to get the third number so this procedure is continued until the complete series is built up so whatever that series we have specified that end value will get then only we will stop otherwise we will go on multiplying this value so the resultants numbers are rounded up so here if it is in fraction sometimes you can round up it and that value will be, you can say the resultant numbers are rounded up so we will see uh, the one table where the preferred numbers are there uh, for the different it may be r5 r10 r20 or r40 that we will see one by one 
So the first, if I consider the series R5, so its multiplying factor is 1.5. So if I consider the first value 1, then when I am calculating the second number, so this is the first number, that is 1. Second number means what? The first number and multiplying factor 1.58. So we will get the second 1.58 and that we are rounding up here we will get 1.60. So this is the second number in R5 series. And if I want to calculate the third number, what we have to do? Second number into multiply by this factor 1.58, then I will get the third number. So in this way for the R5, I will get the values. Now if we consider the R10 series, so for R10, multiplying factor is 1.26. So the again, first value is 1, multiplying by 1.26. So 1.26, here somewhat rounding. So 1.25 will get. And if you multiply 1.26 by the factor 1.26, then you will get the next number. And 1.6 again, multiply by this factor 2 and so on. You will get the uh, value for this R10 series. Similarly, for R20, for R20 multiplying factor is 1.12. So the first one multiplying by this 1.12. And again multiply this number, second number to this factor. Then we will third number. Third number again multiply this. Then fourth, fifth and it will go on continue. So in this way we will get the value for the R20 series. Similarly for R40 series. So again the multiplying factor is 1.06. So the first value 1. And then go on multiplying 1.06 so it will go on continue so in this way we will get the series different series now we will take one example consider a manufacturer lifting the trickles you want to introduce with different nine models and he had given that nine model it should be in the range of 15 to 100 kN so for that I have to derive the series and again here we will consider that as a R10 series uh, and just now we had seen what is the multiplying factor for R10 series it is 1.26. So the different 9 models we will get. So the first one is what 15 or we have taken 16 as it is no problem. Then multiply 16 by 1.26 will get some value and that we are rounding up then we will get the second value and multiplied by 20 to the again multiplying factor 1.26 round up 25 in this way you will get the different 9 models that is 16 20 26 sorry 25 31.5 40 50 63 80 and 100 so these are the different 9 uh, series or 9 different model or con uh, by considering this R10 series So, what is the use of this? This preferred numbers minimizes unnecessary variation in the sizes because sometimes it becomes very difficult uh, what is the range and how we are going to select. And if you are having this preferred number series, so by directly considering that factor, you can schedule all this the series. So, it becomes very easy, uh, regular size you will get. So, the assist designer uh, in awarding selection of the sizes and arbitrary manner means we cannot select randomly anything so by considering this if you follow then systematic manner unnecessary uh, things it avoids so it becomes easy to the manufacturer then third the complete range is covered by minimum number of sizes so this is very again important so what it does it covers the complete range so just now we had seen one example uh, that the different size by considering the R10 which we had seen it covers all the things and again uh, that 15 kN to 100 kN which we had seen the example but on the minimum numbers 9 series it completes all the range then it becomes very advantageous to the producer also and the consumers also these are the different advantages or the benefits you can say when we use this preferred series and there are the two terms namely basic series and the derived series which are frequently used in relation to the preferred numbers 
R5, R10, R20, R40 and R80 these are called as the basic series whichever the Charles Renault he derived these are the five series and those are the basic series and the any series that is formed based on these five series is called as the derived series in other words we can say derived series are derived of the basic series so these are the basic series and from this if we derive any series that we can put as a derived series there are two methods of forming derived series namely reducing numbers either we can reduce the number of the basic series or increasing the numbers so either you go on reducing the number then you will get the series or you can go on increasing the number then also you will get the series so these are the two methods by using which you can form the basic series there are few meanings in this series that we will see so the first that series r by 10 r10 by 3 and in bracket they are indicating 1 to 1000 so what it indicates so it indicates this is the derived series comprising the every third term of the r10 series means r10 series out of that we have to consider every third term and having its lower limit as a 1 and the higher limit it is a 1000 so what in bracket whatever the value they had said it is a lower limit and it is the upper limit between this we have to uh, derive the series by using the r10 so this is the meaning of the series r10 by 3 then the second that series r20 by 4 dash dash and 8 and dash dash 8 so what this indicates it indicates a derived series comprising of every fourth term so every fourth term of the r20 series so we have to consider every fourth term and unlimited in both sides so they have not given initial condition and also the last condition and the unlimited in both sides and having the number 8 inside the series and here one thing whatever the series you are going to derive in that the 8 should include in this series so it should include 8 previous case they have given initial and the last but here they are not going initial and the last but they have said the in between the value it should, should include in this series now the third series series r20 by 3 in bracket 200 and dot of bracket what it again indicates here again every third term of the r20 series and having the lower limit as the 200 and there is no any higher limit so here it is not having the higher limit lower limit you can start from the 200 but there is no higher limit. so that is the meaning of or the designation of the series of this r20 by 3 now the fourth then again what is the difference third and fourth the same thing r20 of the third but thing is what the lower limit they have not specified but they have specified the upper limit so the la largest value of the series it should be 200 and lowest value can be considered 50. so this is what the meaning or the designation of the series 